Hello Flutter developers, my name is Ayushpi Gupta and in this video we will be learning how to keep two versions of Flutter simultaneously on your PC, okay? So here I will be using the Mac system, okay? So whatever I will tell you will apply on this Mac only, okay? So why do we need to keep two versions of Flutter? Uh, you know that the Flutter desktop and Flutter for Mac OS and Flutter web is currently being actively under development in the Flutter master channel. Okay. And if we see the Flutter, uh, your uh, SDK installed, then you can see that uh, the la latest uh, SDK was released after a very, very long time in the developer channel. Okay. So if you see that, uh, the uh, latest was released on 7 of your November, but the earlier version was released on 9th of September. Okay, uh, this October, sorry. So you can see the one month difference between the two release versions. It is this is just because the Flutter, uh, uh, the Flutter GitHub repo is currently being in active development. Okay. So because many of the features are available in the master branch that is your Mac OS development. So uh, sometimes uh, uh, the interesting interested people keep on switching branches because uh, on one hand they have to maintain your main uh, main repo that is your office work or your freelancing projects. Okay, which requires some space some stable versions of Flutter. Okay, and on the other hand you want to try the new features. Okay. And because master branch is always on the bleeding edge, so you uh, they you can expect sometimes the breaking of the code, okay, or the Flutter run. So to solve this problem between the switching of branches, I am now keeping two uh, different versions of Flutter and using them uh, alternatively whenever required, okay. So first of all, see how we can. Uh, uh, keep two versions. So first of all, I would like to uh, tell you my Flutter versions. Okay. So if you see, I run the Flutter doctor command. You can see that I am on the master channel currently, and this is my Flutter version, which is on the master channel. Okay. So the famous revision was two days ago. So I am almost on the latest. Okay. Now. Uh, if you just see in your Android Studio IntelliJ, then you can see that if you go on the preferences and if you just search Dart over here, okay. So if you go in the languages and framework, okay. So you can see that uh, the Flutter version uses Flutter Master, okay, or the directory, okay. So if you just go on to this, uh, you can see that if I go on to the home and development uh, section, uh, the flut you can see the two repos that is the flutter, uh, your flutter, that is the main uh, stable version that is I am using on the dev channel. Okay. And the other one is flutter master. So I have made a new folder named flutter master and in that I have kept the flutter master version. Okay. So uh this is the way to keep the two different versions of the flutter and if you want to switch the different versions then uh there is one more thing also why in the flutter installing you can see that if you just press the command shift and dot then you can see that hidden files will be opening up and you can see that this dot bash profile okay so this bash profile actually keeps your uh this environmental variables if you can see so this environmental variables uh, are used for running the flutter commands anywhere okay so if you are if you are typing flutter doctor anywhere then they are running because you are targeting this directory okay so if you can see that uh, currently i am using my flutter master repo okay so if i just remove this flutter master and just uh, target it to the development slash flutter slash bin which is the default path of the flutter okay and save it okay so you can see that now it is saved and if now again i type the uh, flutter doctor then you can see that uh, uh, it's still saying that i am on the master branch okay 
this is just because i am using my old terminal okay so if you just open up the new terminal and now write the flutter mask flutter doctor okay so you can see that now it has showing showing some uh, error like previously i was using flutter master now i'm using flutter and you can see that i am now on the developer channel okay so can in this way you can see that i am keeping two different versions of the flutter okay one from the flutter over here and one for the flutter master okay now uh, important thing is that if you are changing the channel then do remember that in the preferences of the intellij you must change the uh this that versions also okay the, that is supported by the intellij so if you are using the master channel use the master one and you can see that it is now showing me the uh another flutter version also or you can just go and select it from here okay so i just go to and bin and just open it okay so now because i am on the dev channel so i am using the different dart sdk path okay so do remember this thing that uh, change the dart uh this sdk path also in the intellij okay so th this is only applicable for the android studio and intellij and for the vs code there must be some other difference okay because i just don't use vs code so i can't tell what will be the configuration over there okay so you can see that uh, how we can easily switch the between the flutter channel uh, that is between the dev or beta or you can say the master channel okay so in this way you just don't have to uh, again and again uh, have to uh, download it and reinstall the sdk now let's see how i have uh, developed uh this uh, this clone this master channel okay so first of all in your development directory where you are keeping the flutter you just make a new folder with this uh named as flutter master okay and you just uh open a new terminal at this folder okay so a new terminal will open up now if you can see that here is a another info over here that for installing the master channel you have to directly download the uh this clone version okay you have to directly clone the github ap uh, github repo so just copy this first command and paste it over here okay so it will just create a folder something like this okay now important thing don't just write flutter version over here okay because i uh, previously you have defined in the environmental variables uh, that you are targeting flutter in the stable version okay a stable directory but because you have cloned the new directory so in order to get the new directory flutter version okay so you have to run this command okay that is your dot slash flutter bin flutter what this command will do this command will simply take uh, the reference of flutter from flutter bin and from this command okay so this code is actually referencing your this flutter command not your environment environmental variable uh, flutter okay so remember this thing and if you just run this you will see that again the whole uh, code will be downloaded and it will download the various uh, tools etc okay and if you just change the environmental variables and with the from the preferences you change the data sdk part you can directly get the flutter Diff this version okay so i guess this was all for this uh, video okay so do uh, check out my github uh, account for the different uh, uh, the flutter packages that is github slash apg apg avatar glow search widget pie chart okay these are quite famous and don't forget to contribute if you uh, or raise an issue if you just feel like okay so thank you